Hello everyone, and welcome. This time I will uh, prepare my Raspberry Pi for uh, Medic Mirror and Home Automation. So what I want to do first is to download the Raspberry installer. Um, find it on Raspberry Pi site, Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, and then we find a download for Windows, since I'm using a Windows computer. And let's install it. It will install a small app locally. Put it on. Uh, choose the operating system. In my case, I will use the 32-bit. And I also want to use the, the recommended one here, because I think it's a, it's a good UI and it's simple to use and it works fine for me. Uh, if you want to use a 64-bit, they are available here, but I believe they're a bit more unstable and maybe a bit harder to find the software where, that you want to, to have. Uh, so my examples and my setup is with a 32-bit. So let's select that. Uh, let's choose the storage device. In my case, a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card. I put it into a small USB dongle that was included in my uh, bundle of, of Raspberry 4. And that was actually the only way I could get the Raspberry 4 these days. So I uh, bought a bundle with memory and power and so on. Select that. And if you want, you can do some uh, pre-settings as well, so you don't have to do that later. Um, let's set the host name, Medic Mirror, enable SSH, set the password, set up the Wi-Fi, and you might also want to Set up a keyboard layout that is useful for you. And then save. Now we're ready to start writing the image. Yes, it will overwrite. Now it's preparing. Next, uh, I want to install Samba. I like to install Samba so I can um, access all the files from my PC. Um, so let's start with the installation. Run this command. And then I want to edit the configuration file, smb.conf. And I want to find a section for the shares. So I want to have a share to the root. Uh, not so secure, I know, but if you want to skip this step, you can always access it through the home directory of the user instead, and you can have your files there and so on. So it's up to you if you want to add this. 
that I want the root share. So let's save that. And then I want to set the password for my uh, Pi user in Samba. Oh, sorry, I need to type that. It's... And I will just set the same for now. And then we need to restart. So let's see if this works. Try and access the root, or actually, I will try and map a network drive to this. The share name is root. Log on. Hi. So, and there we are. So now I can access my files and I like to have the root because it's easy to uh, make backups of files and easy to see what you have configured. But here is the home directory and the Pi user. Now I want to set up the um, uh, display for when booting. So I will go into the Boot config txt file. And here I want to make some changes. I'm not sure you need all of them, but these are the ones that I have found useful. HDMI group one sets uh, the mode to TV mode, something. And HDMI drive two sets it to HDMI. Uh, and then you have a boost. I think it's the strength of the HDMI. I set it to nine. Uh, and then we have a couple of ones that I actually must have. And that is the rotation. HDMI rotate. Set it to one because I want it standing up uh, to uh, look like a mirror. And then we also have one important one that I actually need to comment out. And this one. And the reason for that is that I found that I had big troubles to actually turn off and on the display if this was if this driver was used. So I had to disable that in order to get my motion sensor to work. Um, so that's a really important one. And then let's save that. Time to get some uh, Python code in and uh, get started on the shell for the Magic Mirror at least. Uh, prepared some files that I will copy to uh, my Raspberry Pi. And I will go through them and explain what they are. I create a folder in the Pi home directory observer, call it, and I will copy my examples here. Since we now have some code that we can run on the Raspberry, uh, it's time to um, 
make sure that we execute this code directly when we start the Raspberry because we want it to execute automatically and if it's rebooted we want it to um, automatically start up. So I would do that you can do you can Google on this and you can do it in a hundred different ways. And the way I found works best for me is by editing this how to start file. And what I want to do here is that I want to add four lines. And Let's have a look at the lines here. The first two lines are actually meant to handle crashes uh, because if the Raspberry crashes, uh, the Chrome uh, web browser running uh, will detect that and, and when it's rebooted it will show some messages and say hey do you want to restore the web page uh, and, and this is trying to remove this and I have been googling this a lot but but I think it works in some cases but it definitely doesn't work in all cases so I have them there uh, to be sure but it's um, not working 100% I would say um, the third line here is to execute our web server, our Python code. You can see it here. So this will execute the Python code. And the last line here, we simply start our Chrome um, browser. And for you, those of you who are extremely observant, you see that I have the wrong IP address here. This is actually the IP address of my other Raspberry. So I will change that to 243. And then let's save this. If you are still very observant, you may have noticed that I made a mistake in my early in this video. Uh, when I set up the config file, the boot config file. And I want to change that because you can see it's wrong. And I set this value to HDMI rotate. That is not correct. It should say display rotate. Uh, and as a consequence of that, my display is not rotated right now. But we will fix that. So display rotate one. Uh, depending on how you want to rotate your display, you can just try zero, one, two, three as values here, uh, and that will probably you will probably find the correct way of showing your pages. So let's save that. And let's simply try to reboot. So quite amazing actually, it worked. Here we have our magic mirror, it's rotated, standing up. And as you see, you have Chrome going into the web page and it's um, also full screen. And if I just bring up my PC browser, you will see that I can bring it up here as well. And if you want to get out of the full screen mode, you press F11 and then you can access the rest of it. And you can see the Python code running here. 
you could also start the Python code directly in uh, the only uh, Python editor. Uh, that will work fine as well and have it in the background. Um, but since I just booted, this one was just executed automatically. Thanks a lot for watching. We will soon go much deeper into this and then add on things one by one. Uh, and I'm a lot of great things to show you. So I hope you stay and see you soon. Thank you.